Hey everybody, GC13 here. The crystal gems have been poofing and bubbling corrupted gems on Earth for thousands of years. That adds up to a lot of bubble gems, but they have the perfect place to put them all. The basement. This is Garnet's room. Not only does Amethyst say as much, but we also see that it's the door that opens up when Garnet uses both of her gems to access the temple. Inside, all of the gems are safely stored, ready for the day when their corruption can finally be healed. The basement isn't the only room belonging to a fusion we see in the show, though. After the introduction of Smoky Quartz, Sardonyx takes her into the temple for an interview on her late-night talk show, Sardonyx Tonight, but the whole thing eventually goes haywire. Sardonyx defuses, and since her room only exists for as long as she does, her room starts to crumble away. In all of the destruction, Garnet and Pearl can't get to each other to refuse, and it's only Smoky's zen-like mastery of the yo-yo that gets everyone out of there safely. But this leads to a very common question. If Sardonyx's room violently disappears every time she defuses, and the people inside that room are in serious danger, then what about all of those gems bubbled in Garnet's room? She's a fusion too. Surely those gems would have been damaged when Garnet was poofed by Jasper, or when Ruby and Sapphire were fighting, or when Garnet defused herself so they could all play baseball. We, of course, know that the gems were all right. Senti had already survived those three defusions and many, many refusions before she was released to be with her crew in the third season. And, when the fifth season came around, when Bismuth was released by Steven, we actually got to see the basement while Garnet was defused, and it looked just fine. I don't think that that was an oversight by the crew either. I can't sit here and promise you that they thought of everything right from the start, but what I can tell you is that by the time Sardonyx's room breaking apart was introduced in Know Your Fusion, there was already precedent to establish that Garnet's room was permanent. Let's go all the way back from Season 4 to early Season 1. It was the fourth episode, Together Breakfast, where we saw Pearl and Amethyst's rooms. Pearl keeps many mementos safely stored away, while Amethyst has massive hordes of stuff piled throughout her room. Just eight episodes later, they fused into Opal, introducing us to Fusion for the very first time. Despite Amethyst and Pearl not existing for long enough for their rooms to break apart, when we see Amethyst's room in the next episode, all of her junk is still there, even a five-plus-year-old burrito and a painting from the 1700s. That means their rooms definitely didn't break apart. You might try to argue that it's because they aren't fusions, so they get stable rooms, but I think there's another difference. We were in Sardonyx's room for a long time, but one thing we didn't see was any sort of connection to the rest of the temple. There was only one way out. The door. Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Steven can all reach each other's rooms while starting in their own, and can get out into the rest of the temple at large. Sardonyx's room was just empty blackness, with no visible connection to anywhere else. It was just like the blank space all three crystal gems opened up for Steven when he wanted them to make a test for him to take, totally cut off from the rest of the temple, despite technically being a part of it. So, I think that's your answer. Garnet's room is stable, just like Amethyst's and Pearl's, because it's part of the main temple structure. Think about it. Who were the crystal gems when the temple was made? Rose, Pearl, Garnet, and Amethyst. Of course they would all have permanent rooms. It would be Ruby and Sapphire who would have the temporary rooms, just like any of the other possible combinations of the crystal gems. The temple can accommodate them, but it isn't built around them. No matter what happened, the temple would always have rooms for its core four. What do you guys think? Has this question been bothering you ever since Know Your Fusion aired? Do you think that's why Garnet's room is stable? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.